check it out. This is a tree frog. It's a Cuban. I looked it up. It's a Cuban tree frog. It's not native to Florida. Hi. And it's on our window. Check that thing out. I just looked it up. I can get up to five inches. And that's pretty close to it right there. Stretched out, he'd be more than six inches, I imagine. Look at that thing. Hi, you are currently being recorded. Very, very cool. Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> I'm reading up on this. And it says if you... Here, let me zoom in on this a little bit for you. It says, if you see a Cuban tree frog, please take a picture, note the location, and report your sighting. And it gives you a phone number, you can go online, or download the reporting app. If you suspect seeing a Cuban tree frog outside of the, penin the peninsular Florida, Please contact Dr. Steve Johnson of the University of Florida at tadpole at ufl.edu. And we're outside of that. It has, I'll show you. It has a, no, this one don't, but it has, there's a map on here. Capture and humanely euthanize. Cuban tree frogs in your Florida friendly yard. See the links below for guidance. Um, so if you see them, in, in, in any of these green areas, <clears throat> that's what they want you to do. And I am in that green area over towards the left, about midway. Um, so, that's pretty cool. I'm going to see if I got something, see if I can catch him. Okay, I got this big thing here. I'm going to try to get him. Let me set you down over here. See if I can zoom in. Okay, anyway. Okay, we got him. Pretty sure that's what it is, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Alright. I'm gonna keep him in here. Let me I wanna poke some holes in this thing. And uh so he can get air. I think he'll be alright in there until morning. And I'll make a couple phone calls. We'll see what to do with it. That is neat. Yeah, that's the biggest tree frog I've ever seen in my life. It's 4 o'clock in the morning, guys. Yeah, it's uh, 4.31. see what I need to do with him I hate to kill him but they eat 
because they're so big they eat our tree frogs that are native here and those are not native so it kind of hurts our it hurts our environment okay guys so the frog was pretty cool unfortunately it has to be dispatched um, they are invasive and they cause a lot of issues um, what they do is they they eat like our native tree frogs because they're little they eat those and they also eat the food that our tree frogs and lizards eat and they also eat the lizards and small snakes so and also they emit a toxin that if you touch them it causes problems with your sinuses um, eyes and nose running and um, also they've been known to get in electrical components and cause power outages in your house and they're just, uh, just bad, a bad thing to have around where they're not supposed to be so unfortunately that's what's going to have to happen to that but right now that was 4 31 this morning uh we had to come down an hour and a half to monkey's got a doctor's appointment she's in there right now behind i don't know if you can see the building um we're in a popka and uh we've been through here before but i don't think we've ever had to be in a popka for any reason but we've been through here before it's not real far from Mount Dora, um, but we just ate at a little pub called Hurricane Grill and Wings, and we just, we got the 20 wings, and we got the, uh, they were boneless, you know, but so we shared the 20 wings she got a salad and i got fries and they had happy hour for bruno so they are very pet friendly so if you're ever around this popka area look them up hurricane grill and wings um but so we got him a little patty and they brought him out a little patty with a with a dog biscuit and water so that was pretty cool so they welcomed him the, your animals that's that's pretty nice they have an indoor seating area and then kind of like an outdoor seating area but like they have those plastic covers that you can slide over in case it's raining because I guess a storm went through earlier we missed it just missed it relax get some water and uh, but that that's pretty cool they have happy hour for dogs <laughs> Bruno had happy hour um, nice people clean place really nice um, so yeah we had the uh, buffalo um, garlic parm man was as soon as she brought them out you could smell it it was really good <laughs> we had the mild because she doesn't she likes spicy stuff but not real spicy so we just got the mild and we shared those and I got six left <laughs> so I got me a snack for later <laughs> Bruno didn't eat all, he only ate like one or two pieces, and then he tries to bury his stuff. And of course, it's, it's, you can't bury it there, you know? So, but we brought his home, he'll eat it later. Uh, but yeah, that's what's going on. So, we got a right turn signal and brake light out, a bulb, and I don't know if I got one in here or not. I'll have to check. If we don't, we'll have to stop on the way home and get a bulb. She noticed that the other day. She said that must have just happened because it wasn't like that last night. So I was like, well, we'll get it. And then I forgot about it till today. So been this far from home, you know. Her being prone to people hitting her for some reason. Hitting her in the ass all the time. Of course, this is not the Toyota. Toyota, it's happened like six times. She's still fighting the last one. Um, it's... I think they're going to take it, we're going to have to end up taking it to court, but, um, yeah, that's just, so, you know, we're going to get that fixed, we'll probably, I'll see if I got one in here, because I usually get two, I know I replaced, I think, the driver's side, and I'm pretty sure I got a two-pack, so if it's not in the back, we'll stop and get a bulb, and I'll throw it in real quick, uh, so that way, on our way home, we're good and safe and legal 
so yeah that's what's going on here um, pretty gloomy day it's supposed to rain off and on thunderstorms and stuff in this area and in ours it was actually raining when we left the house um, it's I don't know what time it is it's going on three her appointment was at 245 we left the house about 11:45, so we got here early so she said you want to get something to eat we got time <laughs> I was like all right I was thinking about some wings and she come up she looked at places five minutes up the road this is about two miles so yeah let's go try it wings all right because I was looking over here there's a pizza hut and there's another place right beside it wing street and I didn't didn't dawn on me I was like yeah I, I, I'd go for some wings so that's what we did so anyway guys I'll see if I can get something to film for you on the way back I might do a revisit of an abandoned um, campground we'll be going right past on the way back if it's not raining too hard I might get out and do a quick walk around um, it's still there I thought it'd be gone by now and this was a couple years ago so um, if I do that, it depends on how long the video is. I might put it in here, and then again, I might just put it in, you know, on its own as a revisit. So, you just have to stay tuned and find out. I've got some product videos i got to do for a company. Uh, one of them's pretty cool. Well, they're all cool, but one of them's really, really cool. came in the other day, so we'll get to that this week, too. But anyway, guys... Uh, yeah, more to come. I'm sure we'll film something going on. So, stick around, guys. <laughs> I got a fix. I had one. It was down underneath here. This one took one out, but it wouldn't take the other one out. And it didn't want to put them back in. Of course, this is a straight screwdriver I just used to pop these caps off. This is what I used. That is exactly what I used right there. So, <laughs> anybody says these things ain't worth a crap, number one, these, um, it's the Sheffield. It's a little rusted. That's, it goes in my tackle box. But, this knife is very sharp. I've never had to sharpen it. The axe is sharp. It's not really an axe. It's a miniature hatchet. I have used the hammer a couple times, as you can see there. Driving in tent stakes. And I just used this work perfect for changing that bulb <laughs> you know hey keep something like that around you know I thought maybe I could jam that in there sometimes you can jam those in it's a Phillips but sometimes you can jam these uh, Torx bits in there enough to get them out but that one was just too big so yeah that's awesome because I have quite a bit of tools in here all kinds of stuff in here um, from when I worked on a truck for a guy I just left them in here until I can get a uh, ooh, quarter until I can get a uh, a tool kit set up I got a tool kit for the truck I may take it out of the truck and put it in here but I'd like to make a little tool kit that will fit in there or under here under there would be nice so I don't know what that is. Huh. Okay. All right, there we go. We're all set. Tackle box to the rescue. And we haven't cleaned this out yet because we have another camping trip coming up in two weeks. Well, less than two weeks. The 27th is a Friday. We're leaving on a Friday. We're going to be gone till Monday. And uh, so that's why she hasn't. I told her not I said don't worry about it just you know I know it's like why wipe your ass you're just gonna take a dump again well in this case you know I mean it would have been what are you doing? You fix it? yeah oh you find a bulb? yeah I had one bulb remember I always buy two where'd you find it? it was down under here oh why did you put it down under here? So I can have it, because if I put it over there, I'm afraid it'd get broke. But so, so we should probably get a couple more next time we're thinking about it. Thank you. And the next time we think about it's when one will go out. But yeah, it's always good to have that stuff. And I had to use a tool out of that thing. 
Out of oh, my yeah. tackle box. Yeah, because the screwdriver I had just wouldn't get them out. Huh. So, <laughs> I used my little, that little hatchet that's in there. Mm -hmm. That's what I used. It's got a full screwdriver on it. What's so funny? Done. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to be gone Friday to Monday. We're going on the river, huh? Yeah. I was just telling them, that's why I said, don't worry about sweeping that out because it's going to be like that again in a couple weeks. Right. All right. Okay. We're going on the river this time, huh? Yeah, that'll be fun. Yeah. Hopefully I can get the boat patched and we can take it. But if not, I don't care. Right. So what'd they say? Well, I can't say. I'll tell you, but I can't tell it on camera right now. Oh, because Later. of the... Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah, it's for the... I'm sorry, but I, it will be I'm all sorry. explained later down yeah. the road. Well, I, I told him you was going through a lawsuit, so... Yeah. Yeah. So I have to be, watch what I say. All right, so let's go. Hey, we went past that abandoned campgrounds on the way here. Did we? Yeah, that we did. So maybe we can stop and I can do a revisit. Campground. Yeah, remember? There's an old abandoned campground. Used to be like a bait store there and stuff. It's blue. I don't remember. I'll show it to you. <laughs> My short-term right. memory loss. All right, we'll be back. Okay, guys, we made it back home. So that was our little trip. Uh, we did find that abandoned trailer park, so you'll have to check that out. I'm going to do a video on its own of that, so sorry about that, but, you know, I couldn't pass that video up on putting it under my abandoned buildings. Um, so, uh, yeah, so there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. appreciate it. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bear, the Myth, the Man, the Legend. I'm gone for now. We'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye, and take care.